Hi, this is Zach Mir with the Bulletin Board Heroes here at Box Markets for Wednesday the 19th of May. Starting off with Amigo Holdings, which I understand is in a live situation at the moment. Uh, but uh, at least from a charting perspective, we've got that range uh, between the floor of the rising trend channel from uh, the turn of the year, I suppose back in um, uh, November. And the 50-day moving average there at 17.5 pence, top of the range there at the moment looks as though it would be 30 pence. Initially, if we break 30, then a big, bigger target there up to 50 pence. But uh, probably the main interest at the moment is that the uh, upper teens holds for the shares on any volatility on any news that we have. Uh, perhaps less hairy at the moment is Chesterfield, which has been uh, one of the, uh, or was one of the better performers at the turn of the year. It was a situation where it looks as though the shares are just trying to uh, get their act together for a new leg to the upside. We already had the bear trap rebound from below 8.6 pence, so uh, sort of bear trap down at the uh, turn of uh, March and April. Uh, current situations that we're hoping for an end of day close through 13 pence, which would be a break of that February resistance line. If we can do that over the next uh, couple of sessions or on a weekly close basis, then the target here up to 20 pence, basically retesting December resistance for the stock. At this stage, only really back below. Uh, the 11 pence level and that uh, uptrend line from March really delaying the upside scenario. Onto a stock which uh, always looked good, well looked good right from the time it came back uh, from uh, suspension. Uh, here we've got uh, Chamberlain which uh, surprisingly is succeeding even though it's not doing uh, NFTs or uh, crypto or cannabis. It's, it seems to be a good old fashioned metal basher. Uh, gap higher today, unfilled as yet which is great. Uh, through the 200-day moving average, which is even greater, that's at 13.43, so uh, uh, breaking the downtrend that there's been for several months there, and an end-of-day close or a weekly close above the uh, initial May resistance at 14.39 pence could take us up to 18 pence initially, and probably looking for much more, but uh, given that people say I go for too optimistic uh, a target on many situations, I'll just go over 18 pence at this stage. Upside valid while we hold above uh, the last swing low there at 10.5 pence. But uh, ideally, we don't go back below uh, yesterday's high at 12.44 pence, the floor of the gap, uh, ahead of a move to 18 pence over the next two to four weeks or less. A uh, stock which I haven't looked at for quite a while, but good to see it back again, is uh, EKF. And uh, here we've got a situation where we've gapped up again, hence the inclusion today. Higher low for May versus uh, March, which is a plus. And uh, an end-of-day close uh, above the 50-day moving average uh, could take the shares up towards that uh, resistance line projection from the end of January as high as 90 pence by the end of next month. Upside uh, valid while we're above, uh, certainly valid while we're above uh, the floor of the gap at 71 pence, let's, uh, let's call it. And we're only really thinking of being bearish again if we break back below the 200-day line at 66. But uh, above 71 up to 90 is the uh, potential uh, there for EKF Diagnostics. Moving along to another stock in a perhaps a similar area, we've got Evgen, which uh, has uh, looks like it's bounced off the um, uh, the floor of this uh, falling wedge, which has been in place since February. A uh, higher low for um, May so far versus March, which is again is a positive. And just looking for a an end of day close above uh, seven pence or so, which is that February resistance line and the 50 day moving average. If we can uh, do that, then the initial target here up to 10 pence by the end of, end of next month. And maybe on a two to three month view back up to 12 or 13, which was the uh, December, January resistance for the shares. A stock which has predictably gone up uh, just on the basis of the uh, rising gold price. But I did, th I think I did cover it um, uh, quite recently, uh, maybe um, uh, before the spike that we had yesterday for the shares. We've actually hit one of the technical targets uh, here, which was around um, 37, 38 pence that uh, resistance line projection from May last year, which is great. And above uh, that line and above today's low at 37.5, looking for a return to the main resistance on the daily chart here up to 50 pence as soon as the end of next month. Stock which has always been a beaster and continues to be so is uh, Hurricane Energy. Uh, the good news here, I suppose uh, people already made their money buying uh, earlier on today around 0 0.8, 0 0.9 and uh, cashing out uh, at current levels or above. Uh, what's it, what will be interesting now is whether the shares can remain above that uh, neckline resistance for the shares of the stock at uh, 0.86. Above that, and we're looking for at least a retest of the 20-day line at 1.38. Probably the best case scenario at this stage uh, would be a, a, a sort of a, a move near towards the two pence area, which was uh, su support on the way down. But uh, uh, probably the shares have done their bit 
for the meantime. Just as I said, interesting to see whether they can hold that 0.86 uh, neckline resistance over the near term. Moving along to a stock which is not quite so uh, fiddly, Mobility One. And here another situation where we've uh, basically uh, met our targets. We had a previous target around 30 pence, which has obviously been hit. Uh, but uh, revising the uh, charting picture here, it looks like we've got a rising trend channel there from the middle of January. That's heading towards 40 pence, and that's valid while we hold above uh, last month's intraday peak 20.83. Sorry, 25.5 rather. Uh, the low was uh, on that day was around 20, but uh, above 25 pence, looking for 40 pence, which is uh, a sort of a classic uh, progression in terms of the price. Uh, for many shares. On to a stock which has been uh, looking quite tantalizing from a technical perspective, uh, Rare Bold uh, Resources. The reason for saying that is that we've still got that uh, island reversal that the stock had, um, November and December, so gap down then gap higher. Never filled that gap, which is very, very impressive. And we put in several higher lows above that gap. So really, it's overdue after six months. Uh, a decent push to the upside, tend to see, see an acceleration couple of full storms with that uh, April uh, bull trap through the uh, 0.85 area. But uh, end of day close or a weekly close today above 0.7, at the end of the week above 0.7 pence, could finally see the shares head towards a penny, uh, which has been promised for quite a long time. That uh, target derived from a line of resistance from February last year. So let's see if uh, all of that uh, pans out as it should. I suppose the rising trend channel here is, as I've drawn there, based at 0.6 and above 0.6 up to 1 pence is the possible trajectory there. Just a couple of shares to go now. First one is Sunrise, where um, it looks like uh, there may be a, a new technical dawn for the bulls. Uh, that would be, uh, oh, that's come in the form of a break of this uh, resistance line there from January. That was around uh, the 0.23 level. Uh, it looks like we're heading for a decent end-of-day close above the 200-day moving average, rising at 0.26. Uh, rising 200-day line normally po providing positive momentum and that makes us confident enough that we'll see a move towards uh, back towards the best levels of the last year in the 0.4 pence area p perhaps as soon as the end of next month at this stage only really back below that line around 0.24 really uh, delaying the upside scenario for the stock one of the uh, favored stocks and plays of the last uh, few months has been uh, Zephyr with great transformational uh, moves here uh, in terms of both the fundamentals and the chart. Uh, we had that gap higher uh, in uh, January, and although there was a uh, it was filled and there was a rebound off it, uh, that really sets uh, set this tone for subsequent price action. Rising trend channel from uh, from September, floor of the channel currently around uh, 2.7 pence. The longer we hold above that, the greater the chance of a move towards four and three quarter pence at the September trend channel, and uh, ideally any dips, maybe intraday dips below the. 50-day line regarded as a buying opportunity early back below yesterday's floor at 2.45 uh, delaying or questioning the upside scenario that's it for me today more updates tomorrow